Safari Rally Kenya 2023 may be over, but the lessons of hybrid technology from the event are silently cementing a new truth in Kenyan motoring culture. Today on Tech One, we'll look at how vehicle manufacturers are angling for a piece of the Kenya hybrid vehicle segment. Alan Oko has more. According to industry experts, there are about 350 electric vehicles out of 2.2 million registered vehicles in Kenya. The slow growth has been attributed to the initial high cost of the vehicles. That notwithstanding, Kenyans are slowly turning to the half-siblings of EVs and they are finding solace in hybrid vehicles that punch the same power. The, the, the ones that are mild hybrids, then full hybrids, then hybrids with chargers going to, to battery EVs. To put it into perspective, the car that the World Rally Champion and winner of the 2023 Safari Rally Kenya, Sebastian Ogie, drove to the finish is powered by a combination of a 1.6-litre turbocharged petrol engine delivering 380 horsepower and an electric unit delivering an extra 100 kilowatts, allowing the car to drive with clean electric power when needed. Producing uh, components and cars in a green fashion um, and then it's looking at progressively go moving towards uh, fully green cars beginning with the hybrid and it began the hi that journey with the hybrid 20 years ago. Electric vehicles are any vehicle that contains a battery-powered electric motor within. If it's all electric or pure electric, it's called a battery electric vehicle, also known as an EV. Plug-in hybrid electric vehicles or PHEV varieties can operate entirely on battery thrusts, whereas hybrid electric vehicles, HEVs, have self-charging batteries in a process that is referred to as regenerative braking. With the rising cost of fuel, there is a lot of hype about hybrids and EVs. This has also been buoyed by the conversation around climate change. The prices of popular hybrid cars in Kenya range from as low as 800,000 shillings to as high as 6.8 million shillings for the newer models of HP EVs. But price aside, the availability of qualified mechanics is another challenge facing the industry. But experts are saying that as the industry continues to evolve, technology will become more rampant and technical expertise will become more readily available. Alan Oko, Tech One.